Hello to my Saggies. Hello to my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading. This reading is for the 20th of November through the 27th of November. Let's get into it, Sagittarius. Let's get right into it. Hopefully you all are having a great week so far, right? Hopefully you're having a really good week so far. A peaceful week. The moon has moved into Cancer. For those of you all who like to follow the moon phases, I hear you loud and clear. Make sure I keep you all up to par as to what moon phase we're moving into. But the moon is in Cancer. So somebody could be, a lot of people are super creative during this time. Super creative, super sensitive to energy. So you want to make sure you use this time. Cancer is, um, this symbol is a crab. So you want to go back into your crab shell, like a hermit crab mode, and create. This is a perfect time to create something. So if you have a, if you've been trying to update your resume or, you know, like create a, a, a business plan or if you're working on a project at work or if you're looking for a job or, you know, creating space for new friends or whatever, this is a great time to do it. So let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Let's see what's in your cards. See what's in your cards, Sagittarius. Let's see what's in your cards. Keep your vibrations high. Let's see what's in your card. There's a team. Yep, teamwork. I see somebody in a leadership position. I see somebody in a leadership position. There you go. So you're in a leadership position. That three is like you're talking. So you're you're in the lead. You're the one that's talking. Like your source is saying there's a there could be a position on your job. So you need to lead the lead the shady people behind. Lead the wolves in sheep's clothing behind. You better leave them behind. You better stop going along with the flow. <laughs> So I'm just trying to tell you, hey, look, you got a leadership position waiting for you. Here we have the um, magician card here. So you better get real clear. Magician card connects us with um, connects us with Mercury, which is about to go retrograde. So if you have a, a retrograde calendar, a moon calendar, retrograde calendar, you'll see that it's about to go retrograde, but it's pre-shadow retrograde. So source is trying to put you in a leadership position. So congratulations in advance. I mean, if you're not already in your leadership position, so Source is trying to put you at the helm of something. So um, time to get it together and leave these wolves and sheep closing behind. They didn't believe that you could ever be in that position in the first place. So here you are. Ta-da. <laughs> you, there you are. Um, so yeah, Source is saying it's time to leave a whole lot of warped belief systems behind, Sagittarius. Because those same energies, remember you all are ruled by Jupiter. You and Pisces are ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter, I mean, Pisces is also ruled by Neptune. But this is where it's letting you know it's time to dream bigger. Get away from them small them small thinking people, small-minded people. All they can do is sit around and talk about it, calling everybody else a wolf in sheep's clothing. So I said, no, no, get from around those people because Source has something for you. Somebody is like making a directorial de debut. You're doing something where you're in the lead of something. You're in charge of something, right? So you want to make sure you have the authority, not just the title, but the authority to do something, right? So, um then you so you need clarity you need clarity so i see you initiating something so i see first of all you closing out one cycle so you want to stop talking to certain other people because threes are born to inspire so what you want to the dark side of three are people who are multitasking they think they're getting a whole lot of stuff done they're not getting any they're not giving 100 percent of attention to nothing really they just everything is getting a little piece of this a little piece of that so source is saying one you're being promoted that's a promotion from source i'm putting you on a whole new team Right, so source said you're gonna have to start thinking like that. So, you're gonna have to leave shady people behind people who are like I said, they don't believe anything anybody says anyway. So, they they, they from the what's it called, a show me state, right? <laughs> you got to show them everything, you got to prove everything to them. So, it says, no, 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 they're not your they're not your creator, source is your creator. So, source put the, the dream in you. So you don't have to prove anything to them. So I say, but you're going to have to get away. You're going to have to stop talking to them. You're going to stop multitasking, you know, with all of this, right? So you're initiating moving on from something. Yep. Yep, you're, you're initiating moving on. See, little by little, all it takes is one person, one loved one. That could be a friend, family member, whoever, loved one. Y'all put whatever loved one means to you. 
All it takes is for one person to say, you know what? They believe in their dreams and they're going for it. And you hear how people talk negative about them. Oh, they're wolf in sheep's clothing. They keep people in the dark about stuff. They could at least told somebody. Like, who were they supposed to tell when they're being called a wolf in sheep's clothing? The same thing is going to be said about you. Because those energies are really projecting themselves on the other people. Just a distraction. So, Source is saying to you, you're following a lead. You're saying, you know what? Somebody else was able to go and, and take, make some things happen for themselves. I could do the same thing. Right? There you go. Queen of Pentacles. That's right. You're down to earth. You're relatable. You have you have gone down a rabbit hole that ended up being a nightmare for you. Been there, done that. You've already been there. So now you're saying, no, if certain other people can do it, why can't you? That's, that's the frequency that you're on. So sit on your throne and adjust your crown. You are down to earth and relatable. Yep. So here we have the four of cups here. Um, somebody could have at some point had been depressed about something, right? Guess what? Everybody can relate to that. All it takes is a, um, and trigger warning, by the way, all it takes is, you know, you work in a job where you just, somebody is basically riding you like sea biscuit. <laughs> You you and you you're working for a manager or somebody who just can't you know somehow they bring they projecting all this stress onto the whole office and you like oh my god right that could be I mean it's just too many things so source is saying to you you can relate to that so that's what you that's what you're saying you know what you have gone through some stuff you 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 got that in common with some people you're down to earth you're relatable that's what somebody is starting to connect with it's like you know what you down to earth and relatable too. You have bought into some kind of a uh, fairy tale yourself, right? Of things that ended up being a nightmare for you. So now the judgment about other people is gone. You're like, okay, I need to get it together. That's the, that's what you are. So yeah, congratulations in advance and protect your water. Here's the um, Ace of Cups. Yep. Somebody lamented over something. You may have cried over something, but guess what? You Now you're moving on. You released it. You released it. So, right. So, this is your card. This is the Wheel of Fortune here. So, you're going to feel very fortunate that you released something and you moved on. Yeah. You lamented over something and you moved on. So, yeah, here's a temperance card. You have a guardian angel that's watching over you, too. And that the... Um, it's helping to see something from a higher frequency, from the highest frequency, right? Not just the higher, but highest frequency. Like seeing it from a, um, <clears throat> through a higher, yeah, at a higher frequency. So you're just kind of sort of seeing it's like, okay, the higher frequency that you're seeing is when you're talking about people projecting stuff on the people, calling people wolves in sheep's clothing. They don't believe anything anybody says. They're the ones that's keeping everybody in the dark about stuff. It takes a minute to process your emotions, Source, like for instance, let's say for instance, you're you're up for a leadership position, but you've been around a bunch of people who are, um, who every time you try to bring a dream up to people, they laugh at it, right? They laugh at your dreams, right? Or they don't, they can't see you in a particular position, right? But you haven't learned to stop telling them, right? It's not until you see somebody else, another loved one, move on from something and you hear about them being successful that you go, wait, hold on. Wait, wait a minute now. That's when somebody says, hey, you can do, you have the same in you too, right? The creator created that in you too. So, yeah, so here we have, so you stop talking bad about people. You stop talking, you start looking in the mirror, you start saying everything that was bad that was said about you. You're not saying nothing bad about anybody else. You started doing the mirror work, just like other people started doing the mirror work. That's how it works. You started doing the mirror work. You start saying, you know what? You start grabbing them post-it notes. You start saying, you see yourself in that leadership position. You see yourself. You're going to have to stop talking to people who talk about people. That's all they do. They, 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 like, they talk about, they don't talk about ideas. They talk about people in a negative way. You're saying, you know, you're going to stop being around those people. You don't even want to talk to them. All they do, all they do is see the worst in people. Oh, that person, they don't, they don't know who they are. You know, they just, just, 
keep everybody in the dark. You're getting away from those energies, right? Here's the Hierophant cards, yeah. Yeah. So you, you're getting from around bullying types of spirits. All they like to do is sit around and gossip. All they just like to bully people, gossip, is their way or the highway. You know, they, um, they're just hardwired that way. So, so it's just saying you're getting from around those types of energies all together. Yep. Because you can relate. You can relate. So something about you is just helping other people to adjust their crowns as well. You're saying, no, you're down to earth. You're relatable, you know, too. Um, here we have the nine of wands here. Yep. So you come through a long journey yourself through prayer and meditation. But some people, like I said, you, you have an innate spiritual understanding of what's going on at this point. It's all about the material realm for some people. That's all they care about, right? And so with you... <clears throat> You um, being able to relate to people who are down to earth and who are relatable, who are not all about the material realm, is starting to make sense, the projection. That's what's starting to make sense to you, the projection. So you're taking notes. Yep, you're taking notes. Right? And adjusting your crown. Yep, you're adjusting your crown. You're like, mm mm. Like, no, nah, I don't have anything negative to say about that person has inspired me. I would, would somebody basically you saying you, I mean, we're all inspiring each other, actually. You know, everything on planet Earth is you, you motivated by anything on planet Earth, right? Ever, or everything. So source is saying to you, you are saying about somebody that they're down to earth and relatable and they actually motivated you. They actually had motivated you to take some steps to move on from some stuff. So, yeah. To move on from some, some past disappointments. So, yeah. So, you are totally, like, taking the lead. You're no longer just going along with the flow. So, you're trying to take some kind of a lead and saying, basically, people are down to earth. They're relatable. Like... If all people heard was negative stuff about them, they would you would move on too, right? So you're going back through your memory. This is motive. Like, what is the reason? Why are people, why won't people just let stuff rest? Like, what is wrong? Yeah, so that's where you are. you just like, you're moving on from some, some past, any kind of past disappointments. But you're just like, what is the motive? Why well, won't two situations and two energies in particular because you're dealing with Hurt energies who, instead of going to get some healing, for them, something is all about money. That's all it is. It's about material possessions and money. That's what somebody is dealing with. That's all. Whatever organization or whoever is connected, it, that's all it is, is money. They don't care about the healing, the, the mental, physical. It's just, just pay somebody and just put a Band-Aid over, keep on hurting other people. Just give somebody some money. That's it. So, source is saying, yeah. But see, you taking some kind of lead and you taking note and you just like, what? People not interested in getting healing. All they want is just money. See this right here? This person is on salt water. This ocean right here, this is salt water, right? So that salt right there is also healing and calming effect. But somebody just moved on quietly. Just moved on quietly from all the dark things that were said about them. Dark spirited things that were said about them. And so people are just taking notes. People are just taking notes. But people feel like they're walking on eggshells. Like, what in the world? They're just disappointed. They're just disappointed. Going back through their own memory. Like, oh, my God. Here's the five of swords here. So, yeah. You, you get ready to stop talking. You get ready to just stop talking altogether. You're like, you know what? You don't have anything. To, because basically at this point, Sagittarius, you're saying anything that you say could be used against you. If, if you're dealing with some energies, it's like that. Like energies who are just focused on money. They focus on money and material. Because you're like, you don't, you're scared to say something else. So you're like, well, no. No. You, you want to get your rest. You're like, nope. You're trying to move on from something. So, yeah. And there it is. You're getting your rest. So whatever this is, 
for you. You're about to be promoted, but somebody is learning something, even in whatever company that you're working in. If you're working in a company or whatever, you're learning how some of your employees are going to come to work and they don't care that they are hurting and they're hurting other people. They don't, they won't care about that. All they want to know is when are they going to get an increase or raise. They won't care how they talk to people in meetings. They won't care. None of that will matter. So, Source is saying to you, they won't care about, like, if you were to say to them, hey, you know, you know, maybe you want to take it easy, take a couple of days off, you know, get some healing or something. You've gone through a rough time. I understand or whatever you can say to employees and what you can't say to employees. For them, they just, they, oh, no, no, I got to keep on working. I got to make money. That's, that's, I just need, I got so many bills to take care of. That's all they care about is just the money, like the physical, just the paper and coins and you just be just flabbergasted like what wait a minute you so all of this air right here source really wants you to do a a, a, um, a heart chakra cleanse really a heart chakra cleanse because you've been giving people way too many chances that's what you have in common with somebody is that you've been going along with people's flow giving people way too many chances especially people who are all about the material world they're all about the material world Right, so you can raise the give them no more time. Here's the nine of pentacles. Here, you're getting them no more time. What somebody is dealing with is a death card, right here. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You ending, you're saying that uh, you're in that's a, that's a wrap. Something is a wrap because it's too unhealthy and it's too wounded, right? So, when the moon moves through Scorpio, like I've been mentioning in previous readings, that's a deeply beautiful and transformative time for everybody to really sit down and say okay as it relates to relationships and money that's a time for you to say okay any poor decisions you may have made you know in friendships romantic whatever job colleagues whatever and as far as money maybe you lost some material possessions or whatever hey you learn a lesson best practices move on right but yeah, somebody is trying to hang somebody out to dry. Here we have somebody trying to sacrifice somebody, like make an example out of somebody. So Source is saying, it's time for you to dream bigger. It's time for you to dream bigger. It's time for you to stop talking and dream bigger. But yeah, something is coming to an end. You have a, like I said, you have a guardian angel watching over you, helping you with something. But when you're dealing with this much hurtful conversation going on about people, people that say they love people, you like mm, that's if that's love then you don't want it what's the mother daughter duo that was on instagram for a minute and they made that song it's like if this is love i don't want something like that that's what this is for somebody somebody saying if that if that's what love looks like you don't want it and we're not even talking about romantic love we're talking about like loved ones like family members so um so yeah i don't know what that's for so yeah i don't i don't know what that's for um but like i said protect your energy protect your energy because somebody really has a big heart but you that's what you have in common with somebody is that you give people way too many chances you give people way 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 too many chances you and somebody take too long to just move on from hurt hurt people right yeah so y'all give people just way too many chances so but like I said, during this moon in Cancer, and you can download a lot of this. A lot of these apps are free, just so you know. A lot of these apps are free. So it's just trying to help you to decide which team are you on. Are you on a team where you love, forgive, look for what you have in common with people who have been hurt? You know, what, what team are you on, right? And so, so as I said, you're not on a team of calling people wolves in sheep's clothing. You're not on a team of people who are just like all about the material world. That's all they care about is just the material world. Just money, 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 material possessions. That's all they care about. Whoever these energies are, chained to fear, doubt, like chained to the devil. Um, and so, um, or just want to hurt somebody to the end of time, you know, obsessed the um you're obsessed with hurting people right so 
those are the energies that you're, you don't want to be connected to. So, you know, obsessed with making people cry. This is the um, five of causing people to lament in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But it's time to heal your wounded self. That's your Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. And so speak it into existence for Archangel Michael, the dispenser of justice, is with you. Much better lies ahead, you know, for you all. Um, move in silence and move in peace. Move on in silence and move on in peace. You have to get the telepathy. Um, so that's the transference of thoughts, feelings, or ideas, whether they're intuitively, emotively, or superconsciously. Also, root chakra cleanse. Yeah, wealth is within your reach. And so somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. New love awaits for somebody, but step through your portal, right? So the portal will be like this new phase of life. That's why I said somebody is getting promoted. Again, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you. It literally could resonate with somebody that you love. Like somebody could be, somebody could have just told you, hey, I was thinking about applying for this leadership position on my job, but my confidence level is like down in the dumps, right? This reading could apply to them. So that's where you're speaking to a higher frequency. They could have told you some stuff that was going on in their job where people were trying to get them fired and, you know, marching around the office. Basically, it's their way or the highway or manager could have made them cry about something or whatever the case may be. And you could be the person that's, you know, helping them to, okay, you need to stop talking to certain people. You need to get the work for putting your application in or whatever. So, um but yeah, new love awaits um, for somebody, That's if that's what you want. But um, heart chakra cleanse, that's what I was saying here with all this air right here, heart chakra. See what you have in common with people. Like, you know, um, check your request list again. But again, congratulations to somebody. Congratulations to somebody, but yeah. All right, Sagittarius. Y'all out here doing something, but yeah, this is a brand new beginning. You're learning how to protect your whatever you created. You learn how to protect that. Like you learn how to protect your mental health for real. If you were depressed, you learn how to not tell people. Like, mm -mm. because people are doing way too much talking. They trying to make you cry about something. Like they do. They talking to too many people. Oh, all you have to do is say this, and they're gonna start crying, or they're gonna, you know, this kind of stuff. People who are familiar, you can't even uh, share share any uh, an emotion. But like crying is a form of weakness. It's not. So leave some energies behind. So somebody's still telling lies about you, but you don't care. You have a um, bitter ex lover who wants you, but everything in moderation. But I tell you, some people they just just mean. They they want to like somebody want to see you cry, which is sad. It's like get a life. <laughs> who wants to see another human being? Who want to they like? Don't people have that in common that people shed tears? Like what? This, this is straight up misery loves company. Anytime you want to see somebody cry, you just want to see them cry. Like, what in the world? <laughs> Something is very wrong. Individuality, but every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. So, that's what I'm seeing here for you all. But, like, I do see you all... Um, inspiring a lot of people to kind of sort of um, move out of a comfort zone for themselves, especially being, being around a lot of negative conversations around them where people are just trying to use you uh, use somebody as a pawn. It's like for them, it's just black or white. You don't even have a wiggle room to even just like basically like somebody is talking about somebody is chained to the devil. They're demonic and all this. Mm. So anyway, so it's just saying to you, it's time to clear your energy field. Keep your vibrations high. There's certain energy you don't want to be a part of. Running around demonizing people. But the source is saying, but what about the angels? <laughs> you know, what about saying, okay, this person has been an angel to me. That person has been, a, they have been, a, what about the light side of the storytelling? Like, okay, you know, when I really needed something that person was there for me they helped me pay my rent babysit the kids took me to work did this let me use their car what about the angel side it can't all be that person was a demon that person was demonic like <laughs> that's what you're getting away from those types of energies all together you only want to be connected to that
but if somebody were to say that they were an angel to somebody, they're sitting there they're showing all 32 teeth. So believe in the impossible. Blue moon. That's right. Something about your energy is very rare. It comes across, it comes along once in a blue moon. But I'm telling you, you're taking the lead. And so I'm telling you, if somebody's in a, in a leadership position because you're so down to earth and so relatable because you've been so hurt and decided to, hey, get some rest and stop talking negatively about people, even sitting there and letting that stuff in your ear gate, you're saying, mm-mm, you're ear gating, I get, you don't want to be a part of it. So joy, I was aff affirmations for joy. I was created for a purpose. Great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. That's right. Absolutely. 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 Let's see what your number is. And we're going to go ahead and close it out. Yeah. So if you feel like you had an angel on this one shoulder and a devil on another, so it's just saying, hey, this will be your flesh. This will be your spirit the end <laughs> right get to the rebirth side you're trying to go through a very powerful transformation you're trying to go through a metamorphosis you're trying to go through a rebirth um and people are obsessed with your past just like they're obsessed with other people's past because they're still trying to find they're still trying to find their purpose and what to believe in but they're if they're still around people it's like oh you too old to do that or you, you don't have enough education. You don't have a this and you don't have a that. They don't believe in them. They're around those types of energies. They like to keep them in the dark about stuff. Sources say to them, yeah, they're going to have to get away from those energies, right? So 14, I am practical. You are open-minded and always up to try something new. Yet you're wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure that your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. All right, Sagittarius. Great job. Like I said, this is your time to create, create, create. So again, I see you in a leadership position, finding out what you have in common with people, um, not saying anything negative about people anymore, because that's actually invoking your own nightmares. Whatever energy we put out in the universe comes back. So that's invoking your own nightmare. So um, I do feel like as far as two energies are concerned, you're going to stop in, um, talking to them. You're taking notes and you're going to get your rest. You're going to finally get your rest. Finally get your rest and create something brand new. You know, you're dealing with the energies who are depressed, who are projecting a lot of hurt onto other people. And so it's the same. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. They chain together. The three of them chain together. Like to keep people in the dark about everything. So you're saying, mm -mm -mm -mm. you too down to earth and related. You can relate to. Nope. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. Again, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.